Hi, I'm Miss Jenny with Miss Jenny's Cleaning, and today I'm going to talk to you about how I price my jobs. Now, this question comes from Rocio Castro. She's one of my subscribers, and she wanted to know how I started my business and how I price my job. So I'm gonna dedicate this video to her. It's a really good question and I think it'll actually answer some questions for a lot of people. So before I start with my formula, uh, let me just say that there's actually two types of cleanings that I do. There's regular house cleaning, which is coming in and cleaning a house that's furnished and people are living in it. And this could be a one-time thing or um, it could be regular regularly scheduled cleaning which of course is you know and when you're in business you always want repeat business so that would be you know monthly weekly bi-weekly whatever works for the customer the other type of cleaning that I do is um, either what I call move-in move-out cleaning or post construction cleaning so the in the the tasks that are involved in these two different types of cleaning are different and so the pricing is different now I'm going to start with my basic regular cleaning. The prices are a little bit lower, but um, let me show you on my whiteboard here. So I have a $60 base price. So I don't come to anybody's house for less than $60, okay? And what this includes, this is like a one bedroom apartment or condo or a small little villa, something like that. So there's five rooms involved with that. There's the living room, kitchen, dining room, bedroom, and bath, five rooms, okay? Now, what I'm gonna to do to formulate for a three bedroom, three bath house is to figure out how to charge from that, and we're gonna use that $60 base, okay? So, if you have three bedrooms and three baths, we're gonna take off one bedroom and one bath. And my pen is not working because I wanna show you this. Ah, there's a blooper right there, right? Okay, so we're gonna take off one bedroom, so two because one is already included in the $60 base and we're going to take off one bath because one is already included in that $60 ba base so two bedrooms two baths now I charge $15 for every extra room and I only base it on the bedrooms and bathrooms okay and I'll get into that in just a couple minutes so with this example we we'll take two times 15 that's 30, right? Two times 15, that's 30. So that's $60, right? That equals 60 plus 60 equals 120. So for a three bedroom, three bath house, I charge 120. Now, there are some things that I charge additionally for Basically, the three basic most requested things are windows, refrigerators, and ovens. Those things are, are extra. The, the refrigerator and the oven, I charge $25 a piece on top of this. So if they want me to clean, and I'm talking about the inside of the refrigerator. So if they want me to clean their oven, you can add another $25. That comes out to $145. Okay, so that's how my basic cleaning works. And uh, I want to explain something else to you. Okay, so some of the people who have larger houses may be afraid or not realize that even though I might be, like for instance, I have a house I charge $165 every two weeks to clean her house. She's actually getting a bargain more so than one of these smaller houses. Now, to give you um, an example of why her house costs that much. She's got five bedrooms and five full baths. Okay? She's also got two dining rooms, two living rooms, a media room, a bar, and a playroom. And then a bonus room on top of that. It takes me six hours to clean this lady's house. Thankfully, she's very clean and neat, so I don't have to worry about a lot of debris and so on and so forth. But she's actually getting a, a, a better deal than somebody with a smaller house, even though she pays more. Because I don't charge extra. I personally do not charge extra for these other rooms, the bar, the media room, two, you know, an extra dining room, an extra living room, those kind of things. So the larger the house, actually the lower the price per square foot or room that my customers pay. Now this is just how I do it. I know that other companies 
charge more per, per room um, or they uh, charge by the square foot. That's not how I do it. This is how I do it with this formula. Now this is going to change a little bit for a post construction or a move in and move out. So my base price, let me erase some, oops, no, we're going to keep that three there. Sorry. Okay, so we're going to keep this three. We'll just keep it the same size house. Okay. But it's a move in, move out. Okay. All right. So my base price for move in and move out is $100. Okay? $100. And that goes back to the same thing. It's a five bedroom unit. Okay? Living room, dining room, bedroom, bathroom, kitchen. Okay? The reason why I charge more is because there's more cleaning involved. Not only do you do the dusting and the baseboards and the windowsills and things like that that I would do in a regular house cleaning, and people think because the house is empty it's less. It's not. It's not because I also do the closets. I clean inside the closets, which I wouldn't do in a regular house cleaning. And I clean inside all the cabinets in the kitchens and the bathrooms okay and that actually takes longer a lot of times there's a lot of gunk in those in those cabinets and drawers and so on and so forth and the outsides are also cleaned on the cabinets that I would only do maybe fingerprints on a regular cleaning so my objective with my move in move out cleaning or my post construction cleaning is to have that house ready for the next tenant to come in or for them to show it if they're trying to sell it they want, I want that house to look like somebody can bring their boxes in and put them away right away without having to worry about cleaning and um, somebody else's yuckiness left behind. So the math is pretty simple here too. The price per room changed a little bit. Now I charge $20 per room. So three bedrooms, three baths. Again, we're gonna take one off, so two and two. So two times 20. Is 40 2 times 20 is 40 that equals 80 okay plus 100 it's 180 it's only $40 more okay it's not that much more but there's more work involved okay so this is what I charge for the same size house if they were going to move in or move out and windows are still more I have to see the windows really to do a pricing on that. Refrigerator still costs extra. Oven still costs extra. Some other things that people may want to have you clean. The dishwasher, that's kind of nasty sometimes. That's going to be extra. Um, that's how I do my pricing. It's pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, it, it makes it easy for me. That way I don't have to worry about measurements and so on and so forth. Um, I just go by what they have in the house and I think it's a simple way and believe it or not it's actually very competitive one of the things that I did to help me determine my pricing was I looked on Craigslist and some of the local uh, websites to find cleaning companies in my area and I looked I did research on what the competition was doing on Craigslist I looked at people's ads I looked on people's websites Sometimes you might have to um, call a company to get a quote, tell them, you know, like use a three bedroom, three bath house or a three bedroom, two bath house, whatever, you know, is easy math for you. Ask them to give you, if they'll give you a quote over the phone. So what I did was I, I took a list of companies and I wrote down all of those prices that they charge for this basic house that I, you know, looked at. And I took an average. Actually, I tried to get one bedroom, one bath, because that gives me my base price. And I just decided that $15 was fair per room. So that, but I did, I, I did an average. So I had the less expensive and the most expensive. And I found a price in the middle. And my thought on that is that I'm not the most expensive and I'm not the cheapest either. I bring my own products. I have a set regimen of things that I'm going to do and I make sure that my customers understand what that is so that they're not disappointed or or let down 
and hopefully they're going to be surprised because I also make sure that I do a quality job and I try to do it within a timely fashion. Um, you, most of the time it's just me cleaning once in a while I'll take somebody with me um, but I know about how long it's going to take me to clean a house so if you can be honest and upfront with your customers in the beginning and say look it's going to take me four hours to clean your house which is about the average time it takes me on most of the houses that I clean it's about four hours that helps me manage my time and it helps them manage their time oh just one other little tidbit here you know a long time ago when I did this when I was younger a lot of people would let you into their house they left the door unlocked or they told you where the key was and you were never there you never saw the customer um, a lot of things have changed since then a lot of my customers at least till they get to know me don't want me alone in their house and honestly I can't blame them but being in their house while they're trying to do things can be an obstacle for them I know some of my customers feel like I'm a guest when I'm not I'm there to work so they feel like they have to entertain me um, sometimes I have people who, you know there's a lot of people who work from home so I may be di disturbing them if they're on a conference call and I'm running the vacuum cleaner and those kind of things got to be a little flexible but you know a lot of people also have just other stuff they want to do they don't want somebody in their house all day long so um, that's something to consider as well how long it's going to take you to do the job but anyway um, I hope that you find this video helpful uh, this is for people who are thinking of starting a business but also for some customers who maybe think about um, hiring this you can do this too like if you're a customer and you want to know what's the average price in your area do what I did call around do some figuring based on your size house on my based on my formula you should come out somewhere in the middle I think at least in the Atlanta area this is the average price what I charge so thanks again don't forget to like me uh, like the video if you thought this was helpful please subscribe if you want to see more and in the links below I'm also going to have some links for my Facebook my Instagram my Twitter pages have a great day. Bye. Bye.